Hello world, my name is Zach Mueller and welcome to the Z-Log. Today is October 5th, Friday, October 5th. I'm recording this on Tuesday, edit on Wednesday, export on Thursday, and do it on Friday. I have like a system worked out now so that it's always on time. I haven't done a Z-Log in around two months, which I feel really bad because I know I said I would do it once a week and I really didn't live up to my expectations. Now the reason for all this was mainly because I went to high school. If you know me, uh, I was homeschooled before uh, this year. I've been homeschooled all my life except for third and fourth grade. I think you just heard my Twitter. I'm quite popular. Hold on. Sorry about that. Justin Bieber just subscribe to my YouTube channel. So I decided this year that I wanted to try high school because I didn't want to go through my entire life never trying high school. I really just wanted to have the experience of high school. I didn't want to grow old and never have had that experience. I wanted to know what it was like. I know some people love high school and love everything about high school uh, and some people hate high school, some people are just in the middle. I had no previous expectations of what high school would be, I just wanted to experience it because life is full of experiencing things and so I thought I'd give it a shot. So I told myself, so I told myself, so I told myself, so I told myself, so I told myself that I would give myself six weeks to try high school, see how it goes, if I don't like it after six weeks, I can go back to being homeschooled, blah blah blah. And actually, it was a good experience. Sorry, let me rephrase that. The actual time spent there was horrible, it was a complete waste of time. But looking back on it, it was a good experience and I'm glad I did it because I learned a lot of things. Sorry, let me rephrase that again. I didn't learn anything of value that they taught me, but I learned from experience. Um, I'm not explaining this correctly. The schoolwork that they gave me, math, English, all that, was a complete waste of time. In my opinion, there are many people, I have tons of friends who excel beautifully in school, they love school, they like the work, but it's not that I wasn't doing well in the work, I was doing fine in the work, I was getting A's and B's, but I really didn't think it was really relevant to my life. I did not enjoy working on it, I did not enjoy the work, and I didn't feel like I was learning anything of value to me. Now I know a lot of people who are watching this are going to completely disagree. A lot of my friends completely disagree with this saying that school, you need to go to school in order to be educated. But in my opinion, school and education are two things that are separate, people often associate them with each other. You don't have to go to school to become educated, you can be educated without ever going to school. And it wasn't just that the schoolwork was invaluable to me, because it is valuable to a lot of people, it's just that the specific school I went to, all the kids were not motivated. Not even motivated to learn, but motivated to do anything. I talked with lots of kids where I said, you know, what, what do you want to do with your life? What makes you happy? What do you do? You know, I have so many things in my life that make me happy. I have magic, I have video, I have photo, I have music, I have blogging, I have all these things that I can do that are hobbies, but could hopefully eventually become careers and lifestyles. And for me right now, it is my lifestyle as it's also my hobby. But most importantly, it's what makes me happy. But these kids at this particular high school I went to just were not motivated to do anything. And I had kind of a big revelation, which was before school, when I was homeschooled, and um, now that I've tested out of school, my neutral zone, when I'm not angry or sad or mad, and I'm not happy or excited, just a neutral zone is usually when I'm not doing anything. If I'm not doing anything, then I'm not happy or sad. It's just neutral. But when I'm doing my interests and hobbies, like magic, uh, filmmaking, videos, pictures, music, blogging, all these things that I love to do, that's my high. That's my high level. And of course those are only some of the many things that make me happy. But when I'm doing those things, which I'm doing on a daily basis, that becomes my happy level. Doing nothing becomes my neutral level, and then bad things become my bad level. But when I started high school at the beginning of the year, high school became my level under neutral. When I was kind of bored doing nothing and I was unhappy in high school, that was, you know, the level under neutral. Neutral stayed doing nothing and the happiness level stayed doing my hobbies. But then as I started going through the school year, I realized that the majority of these kids that go to high school that are unhappy or they're just bored at high school, which is not everyone, there's tons of kids that I know and a bunch of my friends who love high school and it's one of their favorite things. 
but the majority of the kids who are unhappy in high school because either it's too hard or they're just bored or they're not challenged or not motivated, which was almost everyone at this specific public school that I went to, I realized that their levels were different from mine. School wasn't actually below neutral, school was the neutral, which was a really weird idea to me and I don't think they realized it, but they had just become so accustomed to that being their neutral point that anything outside of school was happiness. So they could be doing absolutely nothing at home, just sitting on the couch, and they would be more happy than they were normally because they weren't doing school. Which unfortunately I found kind of sad and disappointing because it became kind of the way I started to live my life. School became just the normal thing, that was my neutral. Then when I came home I didn't even want to do any of my own hobbies because my energy was spent and that felt like work. School took up my work time and the only zone time left was doing nothing and I actually became happy with it because it wasn't school. And when you think about it, that's really a messed up way to live your life. I do not want to live my life just being happy doing nothing. That just doesn't seem like the proper way to spend my time. Which is part of the reason that I haven't done a Z-Log in a while. I haven't actually performed at the castle in a while. I haven't done magic for people in a while. And school has just kind of sucked the creativity out of me. And when I get home from school, I just don't want to do anything. My mind subconsciously thinks that now that you're done with school, you can completely be lazy the rest of the day and do nothing. And it's justified because you've done your schoolwork, you've done your work, and you're done. But really, for me, work isn't bad. Before school, work was not something that I dreaded. Work was fun. Work for me is doing all of my hobbies. And it does take a lot of work, but it's not unhappy work. I'm always happy doing magic, or photo, or video, or music, etc, etc. But school took that energy and took that work and made it unhappy for me, so that when I got home, I didn't want to do anything. And it was really sad and disappointing, and I was depressed for a while, until I realized, I don't have to do this. And a lot of people told me, well, you know, you've only done it for two months, so how can you possibly know? You just need to look at it in a different light. And for whatever reason, that doesn't work for me. I can't justify doing this work as valuable. It's not valuable to me. It doesn't hold any value for me. My value is in my interests, and I don't want to lose interest in that because I hold value in that, and I want to spend all the time that I possibly can working on the things and putting in my time into the things that make me happy as a person. So school for me was not the option. So I decided this isn't making me happy. I'm just going to not do it anymore. And a lot of you are probably thinking, well, now you're just a high school dropout. No, that's not the case. I tested out high school. I took something called the Chesby test. It's basically in lieu of a high school diploma, but only for any California college. Now I couldn't take this diploma and go to a university and expect to get in because really that's kind of the bare minimum. Usually you'd have high school credits and since I haven't done the junior and senior year of high school I don't have very many credits to show for it. All I have is this chess piece. So I talked to my parents and I made the decision to start community college in July, do community college for two years to get my general education and then take my general education um, plus all of the other projects um, and adventures and traveling that I'm going to be doing in those two years with the time that I'm not working on school and picking and choosing those adventures and those projects that I've done that look good on a college application and then I plan to transfer to a full-fledged university um, after those two years and that would mean that I would graduate college when I am 20 which would be awesome. I really don't get along with people my age. Uh, I'd find people my age just not to be on the same level with me. Almost every single one of my friends is at least two years older than me. So all my friends are kind of already going off to college or have already been in college for a few years. So for me, I feel like I don't want to waste the next two years of my life just doing something I don't want to do in high school. I'd rather get a jump start on college and in a sense get a jump start on my life. So with all that said, and I know that this has been a very long, weird Z-log, kind of a deep talk type thing, but I guess they're um, subjects that I kind of care about, so I guess it's good to talk about that than talk about nothing. Now that I have much more free time that I'm not wasting in school, I'm going to be posting two Z-Logs a week, one on Monday and one on Friday, and I'm going to hold myself to that. I've got a bunch of footage that I haven't edited yet that I'm going to put into another one of those little mashup uh, Z-Logs. So today is Friday, October 5th. Uh, the next Z-Log will be this Monday, which will be October 8th? No, I'm sorry, November. 
Uh, so, if you made it all the way through to the end of this video, I really appreciate you watching it all the way. This is my third take doing all this stuff and talking about all this random jib jab that I usually don't ever talk about. It's important to me, so I wanted to put it on video, a little record of my life, which is really what this is. Uh, if you agree or disagree with anything I have to say, please give me a comment down below. I'd love to know what you think. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you on Monday.